Hi, this is Ryan with Zog Firearms. Today, this is uh, part one of multiple effect projectiles. I'm going to show you how to make a couple different projectiles that have multiple effects in the air instead of just one. And so, to start out with, we're going to go with the easy one. Um, this one typically starts with your large four inch projectile. It's just like that. And now we're actually going to make it. It's kind of a star cluster, so we'll get some of our stars over here. So, now first we're going to add the first effect. We got some orange stars here. I'll toss a few of the stars in, just like that. Then we'll take one of our large discs that come in the kits, or just like that, and I drilled a hole in it to make it easier. I'm going to take a fuse, throw that fuse right through the hole, just like that. I'm going to shove that down on top of everything. So you've got that thing in there. Kind of work the fuse down so it'll actually sit all the way down. And in. There you go. We're going to add a half inch layer here of hot glue. So from here, we're going to fill it up. And this is going to create your barrier when the first one goes off. It'll allow it to separate from the rest of it, light, and go off again. There we go. That. I'm going to grab one more of these discs so I can immediately keep working. And shove it over the top. Just like that. It's going to sit all the way down on the hot glue. Okay, there we go. We'll add more stars. So you can do multiple colors. This time it will be one. Just like that. Take another disc. This time it will be a solid one without a hole. Let's see on top. Keep in mind you can do this with paper towels also. This just make it really easy. So if you don't have extra one of those discs, then paper towels works. So now we're going to fill it with hot glue. You see it takes a lot of hot glue, so I typically use a lot of hot glue guns. And we'll cap it off. Just like that. All right. Now we'll wrap a couple rubber bands around it. It's like a normal round and projectile. There you go. And we'll let that thing sit and dry. And once it's dry, then we'll be able to load it into a casing. It's like any other projectile. Once again, this is part one. Uh, part two and three will show you a couple other methods.